Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. You probably went out and got some firework images, so I just want to show you a quick way to composite all of your images together using On One Photo Raw, and you can create a really cool image of all of your fireworks and kind of get that finale, especially as you look on the screen here, you can see that I have a bunch of single images of fireworks but i want to bring them all together into one big canvas that i can print and hang on the wall so or just share on social media so let me show you how you can do that pretty quick and really easy inside of on one photo raw now before i get started on these i need to apply a preset now you can go over to the members area and download this preset i put it in there today so I'm going to hit command a, and I'm going to open up my tool well here, and I am just going to apply my fireworks develop preset. You'll have a few different options available to you. I'm just going to apply this to all of my images. So that way I know I have the base edit that I want so I can start working. And all this preset does is makes the background completely black. So that way, when I start using my blend modes, it works the way that I expect it to. Now that all of my images are good to go and I can start editing on them, I wanna make a quick note. I am working inside of an album. So the way that this works is you curate all your photos and I'm just gonna fast forward through this portion of me selecting the images that I actually want to combine. Now that I have selected the images that I wanna add, I got 11 of them. I'm gonna go ahead and start editing these inside of On One or combining them. To do this, I wanna click on layers. So when I click on layers, On One is gonna take a second to think things through. Once on one has had its time to think about all of its images and add its new file, what we're going to do is make sure we're at the very bottom image, click on that. And then what we're going to do is go to file, select canvas size, uncheck the block that says lock proportions. We're going to change this to a 20 by 16. And then we're going to change the resolution to 300 because I do plan to print this. And then we're going to hit apply. Now I'm working 20 by 16 inches. If you want to work in pixels or centimeters, you can select that. But moral of the story, you're going to create the canvas size of what it is that you plan to print. And then I'm going to hit apply. On one's going to take a little bit of time to think this through. And once it has, you now have all of your images on a canvas size that is 20 by 16 or whatever you selected. The next step is to create a black fill layer underneath all of this. So with the most, the bottom most photo selected, you're going to click on your paint can and then you're gonna drag this over to black and you're gonna hit okay. And what this is gonna do is create a fill layer of black over the entire canvas. Now this is great because that's exactly what I wanted to do. Now it's time for us to build up our image. So what you're going to do is turn off every photo except for the first image that you want to work with. OK, so now you can see I turned off all of the images and the only image that I have on. And I guess I need to move this underneath there. So now I have my black fill layer under there. And this is the first firework that we're going to work with. All right. So make sure that you have that image selected and then you're going to click the gear icon for the layer and you're going to select screen. Now it doesn't look, look like it did much yet, but where the real magic of all this comes in is by clicking on the layer mask of the firework that you want to edit and then click on invert. It turns everything black. By using your brush and painting in, you can just paint in the firework where you want it or what you want. And you're not going to get the uh, background. You're now working off of the black 
canvas. So if I wanted this canvas to be a different color, I could make it a different color, but I want it to be black because I want to portray a night sky. So this is really small in the frame. I want this to be like a grand firework exhibition or, or demonstration. So I'm going to click on making sure that I still have the firework that I'm working on selected. I'm going to click on transform. I'm going to scale this up. And you're going to see that it grows in size. Now, I don't want this directly in the center of my image. So what I'm going to do is click on the transform tool here. I'm just going to drag this over to the upper left hand corner, not to cut off the uh, flares there, right? I want to keep all of those intact. So now that that's done, I'm going to go to the next image and we're going to repeat the exact same steps. So this time I have, um, and you can see that this is not blending very well, right? It's cutting off this other firework. But as soon as I click on the gear icon and I go to screen, look at that. The other firework comes back and this firework starts to blend with the rest of these fireworks. Now, I don't like this light down here. So instead of using the invert option, I'm just gonna hit the letter B on my keyboard, go to paint out. And I'm just going to paint away the things that I don't want in the image. Now, I want this little light trail here, uh, but I want to expand this and make this a little bit larger. So using the same transform tool over here in the develop module, I'm just going to scale this up. And then I am going to go ahead and grab my transform tool. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. And then what I need to do is reposition this so that I am getting that light trail because I'm just scaling it inside of this particular space. So what I'm going to do is pull on the rise until I start to see that light trail come right back into the frame. And then I'm just going to pull this back down and I want this to be somewhere near the bottom because I want to tell a story with this image as well. All right. So now we're going to go to the next image and we're going to do the exact same thing where I click on it, click the gear icon, hit screen. So that way it blends. Now those two are clashing with each other. So I'm just going to pull this one over to the right. And I'm not worried about anything else in this image except for the big firework that's here. So what I'm going to do is get rid of all of this down here. Now, the way that I'm going to do it this time, and I'm just showing you different options is I can click on the layer mask. I can hit the letter M to get my masking bug, grab the radio filter, and I can put it right over the center of this. And then I can click here and go to edges and then just tighten this in. And all I'm doing is masking out everything that isn't this firework. Okay. And it doesn't have to be a perfect mask because uh, I am using the screen blend mode. All right. So now what I can do is come back to transform and I can scale this up just like so to make it bigger in my frame or in my photo. And I'm just going to move that there, uh, the mask. And then what I can do is come to the transform and I can move this around on my canvas where I want this to be. So maybe I want this to just fill that corner. All right. So now you're starting to see how this is going to work. So I'm going to speed through this tutorial and make the final image so that way you can see what it is that I'm creating.
there we are with the final image. Now, the goal here was to show you that you can create all kinds of stuff using the layers inside of on one, but using a blend mode very simply, uh, and then moving your images around on a canvas size, you can really create works of art that are specific to what your needs are. Now, you probably noticed I used the replace color and I'll have a separate video showing how to use that tool and how to use it inside of On One Photo Raw. But you can see that it was a tool that was really helpful in producing this final look because I wanted to throw that color in there. Now, if you have questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you found value in today's video, hit that like button and consider subscribing. And until the next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating.